I'm here at a junk store called Health Bank in front of the deodorant section. I think this is the women's deodorant section. I'm going to explain the whole deodorant situation. That's one of the biggest topics people talk about. They always say you should bring your own deodorant to Japan, or Japanese people don't sell deodorant, or Japanese people don't smell, and I'm going to explain what all that is about. East Asian people tend not to smell quite as much, and that's probably why they don't need as strong of deodorant. But of course, they do still sweat, they do still smell, so they do still have deodorant, and I'm going to show you what those are. But first, in order to pick out an effective deodorant, here's 30 seconds on what to look for. You have two product types, deodorants and antiperspirants. Deodorants temporarily kill off bacteria and can also mask odors by applying something that smells better. Antiperspirants actually fill in and block your sweat pores and prevent sweat from being released and thus odor from being produced in the first place. For people who have noticeable body odor, antiperspirants are usually needed. The ingredient that makes the deodorant an antiperspirant is aluminum. Here is one of the big products they have, which is a deodorant water, and you just kind of splash this on you. If you can see this katakana, this is Testa. At drugstores, they have lots and lots of testers for most products, so you can try something out before you buy it. So deodorant water. It looks like it's probably just the white powder deodorant mixed into a water. It smells really good. <laughs> June's had these before, but I've never really considered them strong deodorant, so I haven't really used them. You can see they have a powder spray, which we have in America as well. Those have also never worked for me very well. More powder sprays down here. Bon is really, really popular. This is also a deodorant spray, and I have used these before. I don't know how well they actually work. They smell really good. Typically what I've done in the past here is I've used a Japanese deodorant, and then I've sprayed this on afterward. More of the water deodorants. This is a tiny spray. <laughs> Here we're getting into the roll-on deodorant section, and it's actually pretty small, which is why they usually say Japan doesn't have a lot of deodorant. So most of these roll-on sprays are actually a liquid type roll-on, so it'll just be the ball and then you'll have a little bit of water going over it, and that's probably what these are. Let's see. Yeah. So you can see this is just the liquid type, it's not an actual powder roll-on deodorant. And then here is where you have a more normal type of deodorant. They're kind of weird in Japan because they're typically circular like this instead of the long oval types that we have. I'm running out of deodorant places. And this one is almost $8 if you convert this to American dollars just for this really tiny bottle. So they're pretty expensive. This one's another water one. So this is another more Western type deodorant, but as you can see, it's tiny. It's a little baby deodorant. What I typically recommend is this brand right here. This is kind of, <laughs> it's the hardcore brand and it almost looks like it's not a Japanese brand, but this actually is. They just have regular powder roll-on ones and they're pretty expensive, but this brand does work. So if you need something stronger and you're in Japan. So as you can see here, this one is deodorant cream for serious users. So I guess this is what us super smelly foreigners have to use. <laughs> Since we have more apocrine sweat glands than Japanese people. But this brand does work. It's just more expensive. So of course it's always easier if you bring your own deodorant. But if you don't have them, you can get them here. So you will be fine. And then the other thing that's really common that you'll probably want to use here because it's so humid are these wipes. These are so convenient and you'll want to take these with you. You can pretty much just wipe down all of the sweat on your body. And of course they have other products as well, like armpit pads that you can put like on your clothes in case you sweat a lot and you don't want to have stains coming through. Okay, so this is the men's section and they actually have the stone. This one is an actual, it's like a rock that you have to get wet and run it underwater before you can apply it. But this works really well. As you can see, they have other products from the same brand as well. Deodorant cream powder. <laughs> and then you can see the price here. So these are almost all $8. So they're expensive. And then of course, all of the sprays, again, sprays, more liquids, and then they have sprays on the bottom. They're pretty much the same type of products. Okay, so I hope this helps you guys figure out what you can use in Japan if you come here. Of course, I recommend bringing your own deodorant if you can, just because It'll last longer, it's probably cheaper, and you're already used to it, but you can get good stuff here that will work. So, see you guys next time. June, what do you use? I don't use it.
Sorry. Don't know. Sorry. Don't know. Ah, sheet. When I sweat. When I sweat, I use sheets, but that's all pretty much, I guess. You sweat, but you don't smell. Should I take it as a compliment? Sorry, you have to date a smelly foreigner like me.